welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week a whole variety of things lifestyle beauty adventure all sorts of fun stuff and I upload every Monday Wednesday and Saturday first of all excuse my voice if it sounds a little stretchy I've had a sore throat for the past couple days I think it's just the new dry weather I'm not used to it yet so I have some coffee to hopefully help that a little bit but today I have yet another 30 days skincare test for you guys this is going to be my last one for a little bit just because I was starting a whole new skincare routine and stuff so I want to test these products out for you guys to kind of see what they were like and give you an idea but now my skincare test routine is kind of set I might switch out the product I'm going to talk about today but I'll get into that in a second um but before we jump in to the product and my thoughts and all that stuff I do want to mention the same things I always mention in front of all of my skincare videos first of all I'm not a dermatologist I'm not an esthetician um I'm just somebody who loves skincare so all the things I talk about and all everything in this video um you know is my opinion is things I found online and through other sources um to formulate my own opinion on these things I'm not a professional in any way so if you have any skincare concerns or anything like that um make sure you seek out a professional all that stuff and just take you know what I say as part of that maybe but you know definitely don't take my word as uh the final thing Second of all, my skincare type, I have very dry, very sensitive, acne prone skin. Um, and I recently moved to Colorado from Georgia, so my skin's still fluctuating a little bit, getting used to the um, drier climate. We live in Colorado Springs now, and we're very much <laughs> in a desert compared to Georgia. So um, we're still, my skin's still figuring that out as well. So the product I wanna talk to you guys about today is the Coco Kind Resurfacing Sleep Mask. And the reason I picked this product was because I wanted to try Bakuchiol, which from my understanding, Bakuchiol is a natural form of retinol. I know it's not exactly the same. And it definitely does not work as effectively, I think, as retinol. I'll get to that in a little bit. But Bakuchiol is great because it's a plant-derived form, so it's gentler on the skin. Um, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you can use Bakuchiol still. It doesn't have an effect like retinol does. Um, so there's many reasons why you might choose Bakuchiol over um, a retinol or Retin-A. Um, and the reason I decided I wanna try Bakuchiol was because I was having some irritation on my skin. Um, I was going through some skin barrier issues and I just wanted to um, try something a little bit more gentle on my skin. So I decided to find a Bakuchiol product um, to try out and I was kind of looking through Ulta's site and I found this one. Um, and I was intrigued by it because it was a gel cream um, and it's an overnight mask. So I thought that'd be a good way to start. So let me tell you a little bit about this product first and we'll get into my thoughts and all that stuff. <clears throat> so like I said, I found this at Ulta. You can buy it through their own site as well, but it is on Ulta. It's online only. It's $21.99 and that jar, this jar right here, is 1.7 ounces. Um, so what it says about it is it's a plant-derived re re retinol alternative that reduces fine lines, look the look of fine lines and wrinkles, uh, dark spots and discoloration. It promotes smooth, even, and youthful looking skin, diminishing signs of fatigue and pollution with wild indigo extract, and lock and locks in hydration and improves skin barrier function with plant-derived beta-glucan. So that's kind of what it all goes into this product. Um, another thing I love about this product from what I read on their website is that all of their packaging is recyclable. So they give you instructions on how to recycle their products online. So I think that's a great way. It makes products a little bit more sustain sustainable. Um, and it's always good to have those insights on how to properly dispose of your skincare products because you can't just throw out or recycle the bottles. You do have to like clean them and stuff. So it's nice that they give you those instructions. Um, so how to use it online and I think on the bottle it says the same thing yeah after cleansing toner and essence apply even layer avoiding eyes and lips leave overnight and rinse off in morning use three to four times a week so that's kind of the quick overview of this like I said the main reason I wanted to try this was because of the Bakuchiol I wanted to try a more gentler form of retinol um, 
for my skin. So the things I like about this is that it has this gel-like texture, so it really feels really nice and smooth on your skin. It feels great on the skin, um, but it does leave a little bit of like a stickiness if you put too much on. Hi, buddy. Um, and that kind of bothered me a little bit, and it took me a while to figure out how to incorporate this into my skincare routine because I have such dry skin. And so the way I found that worked best for me was I, obviously I washed my face, I don't use a toner, um, I put on my hyaluronic acid serum, and then I put this on. And I let it sit for a little bit, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on when I put it on. Um, I go read for a little bit, do whatever, get the rest of the way ready for bed. And then I actually put my moisturizer on top of this and then my rosehip oil. I found that if I put this on over my moisturizer, I would kind of get all that like, goopy and weird and would it fully absorb in the way I wanted it to so I didn't feel like I was getting the most benefit out of it. I think if you don't have as dry of skin, you might be able to just put this on and this be your last step and not need a moisturizer, but my skin's so dry and needed another moisturizer on top of it. So that's the reason I use it this way. Um, and in the morning, my skin did feel really soft and smooth. It did look more glowy. Um, I didn't notice like a crazy reduction in my spots or anything like that, but I didn't break out either. I didn't get any new um, blemishes or anything like that from it. I noticed like I'm getting, I'm push, I'm getting closer to 30 now and I'm getting a few really fine lines on my forehead. I'm a very expressive person. It's just how I am. And I did notice that those were smoothing out a little bit. Definitely nothing crazy. Um, not life-changing or anything, but it definitely was smoother. Um, the other thing I kind of didn't like about this product was that in the morning, I really had to wash my face thoroughly to get all of it off or else the products I put on next would um, pill up underneath it. So I'm someone who I like to work out in the morning. Oftentimes that includes going outside with my dog Tahoe here. Um, and so I wanna put on sunscreen before I go out. And oftentimes I won't wash my face before I go work out and go outside with Tahoe because I know I'm planning on working out. So I will wash my face after my workout and then do my morning skincare routine. But when I, on nights when I used this product, I had to make sure I rinsed it off thoroughly and then put on sunscreen. That's not really what I like to do in the morning. Maybe it's just laziness, I don't know. But I couldn't even put on sunscreen on top of it without it pilling up and that kind of annoyed me a little bit. Um, so I think my final thoughts are, I like Bakuchel as an ingredient. I think it worked well on my skin. It didn't irritate my skin. I definitely noticed my skin barrier was fine with it. And I would definitely be open to trying other Bakuchiol products. I just don't know if this one is my favorite one. I would definitely use it all up. I think I'm not even like halfway done with it. Um, and I think I'll use it all up and I'm not gonna be like mad about using it. It's not something that like annoys me or anything but it's definitely not my favorite product I've ever used. Um, I think when I'm done with this, I would, I'm would i gonna look for other Bakuchiol products, kind of see what else is out there. Um, and I've already done some research. There are a lot more products with Bakuchiol in them than there was even when I was first looking for it. I noticed I was on Sephora the other day and I noticed Herbivore just came out with a new serum. Um, there's a couple more on Target's website. Um, I think there's one or two more on Ulta's. I, I think more companies are kind of seeing the benefit of having a Bakuchiol product in their lineup. Because like I said, there is a fairly large group of people who could use Bakuchiol but can't use a retinol. Um, and like I said, I don't think they're perfect alternatives for each other, but they do do similar things in my opinion. And so I think we're gonna be seeing a lot more Bakuchiol products out there. And that's the reason I wanted to try one, just kind of see what it was all about. And I definitely think 
I will try a few more along the way. Um, but if you're looking for kind of like a gel-like mask, maybe you don't have as dry skin, I think this is a great one. It's kind of fuss-free, um, except for the pilling in the morning. If that's if you don't work out in the morning or whatever, and you wash your face in the morning, I don't think it's gonna bother you at all. Um, but I did like this, and I think it's good. Um, I would still recommend it. I just don't know if it was for me. Um, I think this is more for people with like normal to oily skin maybe if you have super dry and like even closer to like the normal to dry range this might be okay with for you too but if you have extremely dry skin like i do like i have to use a cream every morning and night i'm not someone who can just put on a lotion in the morning i have to use something thick in the morning as well because my skin is that dry um i don't know if this will be it for you either um but it's a good product and I would still recommend it. Like I said, I think it's great, but it just might not be for me. I think that's like all my thoughts. Um, so yeah, Bakucho as a pro as a ingredient, I think I have been enjoying and I'm excited to try other forms of it. I just don't know if this one was for me, but I would still recommend it. So hopefully that gives you a good idea um, about this product. If you've tried Bakuchiol or another product that has Bakuchiol on it, please leave your recommendations below because I'm looking for another one. Definitely wanna keep trying them and seeing what else is out there. So please leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you like about Bakuchiol, what product you use, if it works for you, all that fun stuff. Please leave me a comment. Um, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join our little adventure family here. And yeah. I think that's it for this video. So I will see you in my next adventure. Bye.